Welcome to Ironside Ranch. My name, my name is Amanda Lynn, and today we're going over Chicken Coop uh, Essentials 101. We are in the process of getting our ranch, Ironside Ranch, uh, ready to sell. And in the meantime, we're trying to look at what we did right and what we did wrong and what could be improved. And uh, today we're going to talk about our chickens. <laughs> We currently have 19 chickens, uh, four of them are roosters and the rest are hens. And I wanted to show you our coop and to get your opinion and advice on um, what we could do better on our next one. So the size that we have right now is actually pretty good for the amount of chickens that we have. We started out with 50 and it was way, way, way too small. And we, we butchered, uh, <laughs> There were 20 of them or so and um, and this size is okay for the amount of chickens that we have although we do need to get rid of probably two more roosters just to cut down on some of the pecking so here let's take a look at the coop and then they're saying hi and then let's um, kind of discuss what we've did done right and what we need to improve on in the future all right so we have are we have we repurposed actually a dog run and it's worked really really well and then we put <laughs> hello and then we put some chicken wire on the top very fitting and then we also dug a trench down below and we added the chicken wire uh, probably a good six inches or so below just to keep um, say foxes and other predators from being able to dig and it is a good thing that we did that low we have seen evidence of um, Critters trying to get at our lovely hens. Let's go in and I'll show you what we've got going on in here We have one one entrance exit Okay, and we also here we go. We have a food scrap bucket. We try to give them all of our leftover scraps and uh, they love it. We try very hard to have our chickens free range and be, you know, as natural and healthy as possible. We have some, uh, you know, pole here for them to be able to jump on and roost. And we could probably actually add another one. And we have found, we have another one over here. And I don't know if you can tell, but it has a texture and it's not perfectly round. They don't seem to really like this one as much. <laughs> Although they will jump on it when the sun is beaming on the other side. We have it completely enclosed. We don't want any animals to be able to get in and out. We have two water troughs. Here we go. Or water buckets. We have a hanging one. Here we go. And a freestanding one. And then we have our small door. Then come in and out here. Let's go around. Let's go inside the coop real quickly. Excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse me. Thank you. All right. Now, one thing we wished we had done differently was put our man door inside the coop. We, we put it on the outside on purpose at first thinking it would be a great idea so we could get in, out with, get in and out without having to go through the other gate. But what we have found is you know, it's, we easily let the let them out. It's very hard to get in and out without letting a chicken escape if we're trying not to, to do that. Okay, so we have inside our roost boxes here. And this seems to be about the right amount of roost boxes for our ladies. They're doing okay at roosting in them. Um, our egg production. Oh, well, someone laid an egg inside their feed bucket. Oh, that's really funny. I guess they were hungry and just popped one out. Uh, so here is our feed bucket and it is hanging, which we have found to be actually pretty good. The door is not in a very good location and our roost boxes are actually too high. So we have installed, here you go, some areas for them to jump on, which they love. They are not happy that I am in here. And we have one lovely lady over here. Hello. She's actually doing her business and hopefully leaving us some delicious eggs. But the roost boxes are a little high um, because our kids 
are involved in all aspects of ranch life as well, and they can't reach it. So we've had to improvise by putting a bucket for them to be able to stand on, or our oldest son just doing it himself, and our youngest daughter getting out of having to collect eggs. So we like having the different levels for them to jump on. They seem to like it. And um, they do like the round better than say the, the square. All right, so there we go. We also included some drawings and paintings on the back, on the walls. We want happy chickens. All right, ladies, I hope you'll get out of your coop. They are not happy right now. We want happy chickens. So there you have it. That's kind of our basic 101. Now, if you're getting chickens um, and you're getting them as chicks, you're also going to need a separate area to, to be able to incubate them. And how we did it initially before we had them as, before they were grown, we had a heat lamp. You've got to make sure the heat lamp doesn't touch anything because it's a fire. It could be a fire hazard. So we need some sort of structure to be able to separate our baby chicks as they grow, but we want the older chickens to be able to see them without having access to them because eventually they're going to become one group of chickens. And we've had to put our buying more chickens on hold until we move to our new property and have a bigger area for them to be able to, to go to. And our hens are all producing eggs, so we actually have more eggs than what we can eat daily. And in the future, we're going to be talking about how we could actually, you know, sell some um, and how to be more economical that way. We are reducing the amount of chicken feed that we feed them and letting them free range more. Basically, the feed is for when we can't let them out to free range. Like if we're going to be gone for the day and we can't get back in time to let them, you know, to close the gate before evening. Or if we are on vacation or something, we have someone coming to, to check the farm. Oh, there's our lovely bird barrel right there. Yes, there is no trash pickup where we live. Okay, so that's kind of our chicken coop 101. If you have any suggestions on what you think they might like, and for us to consider something that we haven't thought of, we're gonna move the door, man door inside the enclosed area. We're going to lower the um, coop or the, the roost boxes so that every family member can get to them and it, so that it'll be easier for the ladies to jump into. Uh, I like having a hanging water, it gives them something to kind of jump on and balance and then one that they can get to easily uh, on the ground. Although we're going to be redesigning that so that it is more self-sufficient where we're going has a pond and a river. So we'll be talking about that as well. Um, the chicken bucket, we call it the chicken buckets, our scrap bucket, they love that. It helps cut down on our feed cost as well. But if you have any ideas, suggestions, things we haven't thought about, please feel free to comment, give us some suggestions. And if you haven't already done so, please like and share our videos. We'd love to hear for, from as many people as possible. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.